Hey guys, alright, so first and foremost, I do want to apologize for the shitty setup. Um, I'm not a professional YouTuber, nor do I typically make YouTube videos, but I, but this is a video on how to catch uh, tarantulas, make a tarantula island, and, well, slash scorpion, I should say, um, and my tips and tricks and things I've learned while doing this so many times because I need the money. Um, so I did just catch a tarantula, but there are a few things I want to show before um, and explain before I go in detail um, about the tarantulas themselves. Um, if you have not watched any other videos, um, basically what you have to do is you have to clear up the island. What you're doing is eliminating the types of bugs that can spawn on the island. Um, so that just means plucking all the flowers so nothing spawns on the flower petals, uh, taking all the trees and tree stumps so nothing spawns on those. Um, and then essentially what I do, I'll show you in a minute, um, for the second level or third level, uh, depending on what island you get, um, I do cover it in either weeds or holes. Ooh, I can catch this guy from here. Haha. -ha. Um, oh, there was two of them. Okay. Um, easily distracted, as you can tell. Um, I do cover it in either weeds or holes, so nothing spawns up there. Wait, was that the only one? No, there's one right here. Um, and so that will make your life a lot easier. Long story short, that will make your life easier. Um, another thing I do want to explain with these cliffs is that tarantulas tend to yeet themselves. Why? I have no idea. Uh, you probably already noticed where they'll fall off cliffs, they'll fall in the water, they'll be on the beach, and they'll just go straight for the water. Um, so you can dig holes along the edge there to keep them from doing that. Um, but as far as water goes, just make sure, you know, you have them rear up their legs ASAP if they're close to the water so they don't eat themselves that way. Um, <clears throat> uh, you probably notice all the weeds gone. You do not need all the weeds gone. You do not have to clear it. Um, it will give you better chances of spawning the tarantulas because uh, there being weeds does limit um, the amount of places they can spawn in. But uh, I only take out all the weeds so I can have weeds to you know, weed out the second story. Um, I should mention, though, that weeds are not under- Ooh, there's a tarantula. Alright, uh, I'm gonna interrupt that thought and show you how that life-saving L works. Uh, you probably noticed me have a little L that I dug up, up- Oh, don't you do it! Oh, man, that's another thing I worry about. Um, damn. Well, what I was gonna show you is this L right here. Uh, I call it life saving L because it really saves your life. Uh, sometimes on the third hour of you hunting tarantulas, um, you find yourself not as aware as you were three hours ago. So when you accidentally go in an oh shit moment with the tarantula, um, all you have to do is beeline for that L. Um, on some of these more waterier uh, islands, you do have to be careful. Um, you run pretty fast fast, pretty fast, so you don't have to straight, I say, I, I already said you have to straight beeline for the L, but you typically don't have to, uh, if you do little spurs or something, just, it's important to kind of not beeline like you just seen me do, because, again, they can fall straight in the water, and for some reason they love to just, like I said, eat themselves, um, but essentially what this L will do, if you have not already seen it, or if you... Oh, well, I could show you now, probably. Okay, so, let me show you what this L does. So, this is exactly what this L does. It, um, keeps them from, you know, following you, and they'll just go in this crazy-ass circle, uh, until you can catch them. One thing I do want to point out, though, is once you do have them in here, make sure you do not, like, move right into the holes, because you will jump over the hole, and then you'll get bit. Uh, I have done that before, and I felt like an idiot for a week at least. Boop. And it's just that easy. Um, you can also use this to speed catch tarantulas if you're a pro gamer. Um, again, like you see, you just have to get them to sprint after you, and then you go in that hole, and then you catch them. Um, <laughs> I'll be honest, I am definitely not a pro gamer, so i rather just take the safe route and try to catch, uh, try to see them before they see me and, you know, get them that way. Um, but I'm glad I was able to show you how that L worked. Um, so like I explained before, um, you do want to make sure you put holes in certain areas. Um, 
So that border up on that second story is a good place if you have enough room. I put some holes over here because my weeds weren't working. And then I have some holes here because another thing trenches like to do, they like to spawn against cliffs. And it tends to be a glitch where all they will do is go up against this cliff. And sometimes they won't notice you, which means they might despawn. Sometimes they will notice you. Um, but then you go and swing, you're too close, you hit the cliff, and then they bite you. So, um... If you do not dig holes there, just be advised that if they spawn there, make sure that you're far enough to where you'll get the tarantula, but not hit the cliff. Um, let's see. Another thing I want to explain are these stupid water bugs. Um, these water bugs freaking, they're annoying. Okay, long story short. One, mostly because you have to catch them, you cannot scare them off. Um... I, you already seen me catch a water bug, so I don't have to show you that. But you do have to catch those water bugs. Um, another bug you have to worry about are tiger beetles. Uh, you already seen me scare off a few of them. There's one up here. Um, they tend to spawn more often than tarantulas. Uh, but if you can get on an island, or if you know of a day where it's raining on these islands, I usually don't recommend time jumping, but that is a big opportunity to time jump. Only because one bug not spawning, which are the tiger beetles, drastically increase your chances of tarantula spawning. Um, again, you will still have to worry about water bugs, you will still have to worry about the roaches, but not having to worry about these, um, one having one less bug um, not having a chance to spawn increases your chances of the other bugs spawning, including tarantulas. Um, I was able to farm this in an hour, where it typically takes me three hours. Um, that part also because I'm slow, but, um, you know, if you can jump to a day where it's raining, um, highly recommend you doing that. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment. Uh, again, I'm not a popular YouTuber, so I typically reply to comments pretty fast. Um... If you have any other questions, just ask. Uh, one thing I should point out before I go is, if you don't already know, um, the spawn times for tarantulas is between 7 p.m. and 4 in the morning. If it is not that time, you will not be able to spawn tarantulas. Um, and I've been hearing that Tarantula Island might be an exception. I don't know. I actually haven't hit Tarantula Island. So this is also a good, uh, a good way to farm tarantulas if, you know, you're having troubles getting that nice tarantula island. Um, also, if you have any tips or tricks, please leave them down below. Uh, and also, if you're a professional watching this and you're like, what the fuck am I watching? Feel free to make this video or redo your video and add these tips and tricks and just, you know, please. And you can link it down below as well because, like I said, I am not a professional. I understand this is probably the shittiest way to record this. But I did want to get this info out there, if you already don't know it, because I know this is probably the most tedious grind you have ever done, uh, especially on a game like Animal Crossing, where it's supposed to be fun, relaxing, stress-free, but honestly, you know, I've grinded on a lot of different games where, you know, grinding is encouraged, and this is probably the most tedious I've ever done. Oh! Uh, and that's exactly the reason why, because I don't pay attention. Um, so yeah. Um, also feel free to subscribe, you know, no promises, I'll make more content, but, uh, I might, so, you know, there's that, I guess. Um, again, let me know if you have any questions below, and I'm gonna go ahead and end this here, and I'll probably edit it some things I forget. Thank you for watching, I appreciate it. Okay, bye.